Hi, um, just wanted to show the pipes that I've currently got on eBay. Um, uh, I've just polished them all up, cleaned them all up, and so I'm just going to do a quick little rundown of them. This is a BJV pipe, Baba J Vegas. Stunning sitting poker, nice tall bowl. The measurements are on the eBay page. The weight and the measurements are all there. This is a nice coral insert, a bit pristine. I don't think it's ever actually been bit. I didn't even need to polish this one at all. Beautiful, beautiful pipe. Stunning. The, the finish on this very much reminds me of Jake Hackett, although it's not Jake Hackett, but it's um, it's a really pristine finish. Excellent finish on this. Beautiful rustication. So that's the BJV pipe. Next one is the David Jones from America. Typical hefty rustic style pipe of his. Definitely got, you know, the odd natural sort of aspects on, on the briar, but that's all natural, it's not a fault in any way. It's got a nice bit of grain there on the top, smooth top. David Jones. These little dots, I mentioned it on the eBay page, they're just bubbles in the plastic, in the acrylic or whatever it is this is, um, which was naturally occurring as it was made. There's no, it's, it's not bite marks or scratches or dings or anything like that. This was like that when I got it. This pipe has barely been used. All of these pipes, in fact, have been very lightly used. And that's the main reason why I'm selling them. There's absolutely nothing wrong with them. Anybody who follows me will know that my pipes are all very well looked after. Good quality, high quality pipes from good carvers. Um, but I'm, you know, it's nearly a year now since I've started. And um, I'm really closing in on the type of pipes that I want to have long term. So that is basically somebody else's chance to um, get a pipe which suits them. Beautiful, hefty, rustic style David Jones pipe pot. Hefty pot, really thick walls. This is the Nording. This is a high contrast, really beautiful, stunning straight, straight grain. Got a cumberland stem. I mentioned this on the page as well. If you have a look at the stem, I'm saying this purely for for transparency. You can see a slight little little deviation there, and that's just the way it was carved. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. I've polished it out a little bit, um, but it's a stunning Cumberland stem. It's very nice and symmetrical. Just you know, you can see where all the pattern sort of joins up, and then it turns and goes that way as it goes into the stem. Really, really beautiful stem. Nice swirly inlay there, nice multicolored inlay. You've got some bird's eye there. So you basically got the bird's eye there, beautiful contrasty bird's eye, and that all goes through a straight grain up to the top. Very lightly smoked this. I've hardly smoked it at all. Stunning pipe. I'm not seeing a, a Nording as high contrast as this with such grain. Next one is the Mark Balkovet Killer B Oval Shank um, Volcano. It's a Killer B pipe. You can see the volcano shape there. It's a lovely, lovely little pipe. It's got some nice grain on the stem. Again, another natural occurring sort of feature of the briar, it's not a fault as such. You'll find that on any pipe if you look with a magnifying glass. Beautiful stem, polished out, really delicate bit, very comfortable. Lightweight pipe, I think this one is about 39-40 grams. Beautiful rustication. He's one of the best proponents of um, smooth and rusticated. It's always quite hard to get that line to look really cool. Um, and. Mark does it fantastically well. Again, stunning pipe. I have absolutely no problem with this pipe. Um, as I say, just um, honing in on the style that I'm going to be smoking long term. Don't need to say very much about this. Jake Hackett, beautiful sitting. Don't know whether you'd, whether you'd call it a billiard or a pot or whatever. But it's a typical Jake Hackett. Very slight bend on there. Um, a nice bit of exotic wood. I'm not sure what that wood is, but it's polished up very nicely just now on the uh, polisher. USA 2015. Clean bit, all being polished. 
and last but not least is the Briarbird. Beautiful green. I call this one, as I mentioned on my eBay page, the Black Raven, simply because the blackness of it and the shapes on it and the swirls in it just gave me like a I just felt it was uh, an appropriate name. Um, Briarbird. Beautiful green throughout. Lovely sandblast on this one. And you've got the craggy edge on the stem there, which is typical of a lot of Briarbird's pipes, albatross pipes. Clean bit. Polished out. That's just the hairs from the polisher, but it's clean. Lovely, lovely shaped pipe, that. Really nice pipe. So that's my pipes. These are the ones that are online at the, on eBay at the moment. Just search Bosco Piper UK and um, when you click on one, just to see other items and you'll see all of them there. So good luck and happy bidding and catch you on the next one.